Okay, today we're going to look at chapter 8, fractions. Okay, fractions are really essential. Uh, no way to be in construction unless you understand your fractions. Four operations, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Uh, a fraction is any time you have one number over num another number. The top number is called your numerator. The bottom number, your denominator. Okay, so the top is a numerator, the bottom is a denominator. Um, the way to look at a fraction is this is one piece of the total. So let's say I have a dozen donuts. I have a total of 12 donuts. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have a dozen donuts. If I have two donuts, that is two twelfths of a dozen. It's a part of the total. I could reduce that to one six. So whenever they're both even, you could always cut them both in half and reduce them, okay? Uh, reading a tape measure is all fractional. And how it works is, let's say this is a sample inch between one and two. The halfway mark is your longest mark. You cut that in half. So you cut that in half to get a quarter. So this is one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. You cut those in half again, and the tick marks correspondingly are that much shorter. So now I cut one fourth in half to get one eighth. This would be two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then the full inch, eight eighths. Okay, you split those in half to get sixteenths. So one sixteenth, two sixteenths, three sixteenths, four sixteenths, five, six sixteenths, reduces to three eighths, seven sixteenths, 8 sixteenths, 9, 10 reduces to 5 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sixteenths, and then the full answer is 16 sixteenths. Okay? Adding fractions, so if I have a half plus a quarter, to add fractions, I have to have a common denominator, and that's the number on the bottom. So the common denominator here would be 4. I could always multiply by 1 so as not to affect the value. So I multiply by 2 over 2, that gives me 2 fourths plus 1 fourth to get 3 fourths. So I need a common denominator, and then once I have that common denominator, I add across the top and keep that common denominator the same. So if I have 1 eighth plus 1 quarter, common denominator is 8, I have 1 eighth plus 2 eighths to give me three eighths. Okay. Subtracting is exactly the same as addition. I just, I need a common denominator. So let's say I have um, five sixteenths minus one eighth. Common denominator is eight. I multiply by one, which is two over two. I have five sixteenths minus two sixteenths, which gives me three sixteenths. Common denominator stays the same. I subtract across the top. Okay. So that's adding and subtracting. If I want to have a mixed number, let's say I have two and a half, I don't know, minus a quarter. This is a mixed number. I convert that to an improper fraction. I take that integer out front. I multiply by the denominator. Two times two is four. And then I add the numerator. It gives me five over two minus one fourth. My common denominator is 4. I multiply by 1. That gives me 10 fourths minus 1 fourth, which is 9 fourths. And then 9 fourths, 4 will go into there two times. Leave me with 8, 1 left over. So 9 fourths is right, or is a mixed number 2 and 1 fourth is right as well. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting fractions. Now let's take a look at multiplying and dividing. So again, in my fraction, let's say I have 3 sixteenths. The top is my numerator. The bottom, my denominator. Denominator. And to add and subtract, I need a common denominator. However, in multiplying and dividing, I do not. So multiplying and dividing, I don't need a common denominator. So if I say I have 1 half times 1 eighth. I just multiply across the top. 1, 2 times 8 is 16. 
kind of makes sense because I'm saying what's half of an eighth? Half of an eighth is a sixteenth. Another example is to have three quarters times uh, one half. I multiply across the top three, the denominator. <coughs> Eight. Division similar. If I have one half divided by one eighth, what I do is I flip the second term over. So one half divided by an eighth is the same as one half times eight over one. Then I just multiply across the top to get eight. Multiply across the bottom to get two. Two goes into eight four times. So fractions are really key to understand. Again, adding and subtracting, I have to have a common denominator. So the bottom number has to be the same. Multiplying, I just go right across the top, right across the bottom. Division, I flip over the second term, and then I multiply. Uh, what I'd recommend you do is write out a full inch until you're really good at working with fractions and get a tape measure and uh, measure things accurate to the 16th. Okay, so that's fractions. <clears throat>